Hi, welcome to our Play Speak discussion on food. We want to discuss your views and experiences as it relates to food to inform the development of a food policy for Canada. Now, this policy is going to set a long term vision for the health, environmental, social, and economic goals related to food, including identifying the actions we can take in the short term. It can be a means to address the issues related to the production, processing, distribution, and consumption of food. There'll be questions that'll help the Government of Canada to develop a food policy that reflects our priorities. We're going to be consulting Canadians on four closely connected themes. First, increasing access to affordable food. Second, improving health and food safety. Third, conserving our soil, water and air. And finally, growing more high quality food. Canadians depend on sufficient access to affordable, nutritious and safe food and we need information to make healthy food choices. In turn, a reliable supply of affordable, nutritious and safe food depends on maintaining Canada's natural resources in a way that supports growth and the conservation of our land. That in turn allows the agricultural and food sectors to grow. So let's begin by asking a general question about how food affects first you and your family, secondly the community and third our country. Your thoughts might get some discussions going on our PlaySpeak page. That's the whole idea of doing it here. So the question, what issues concern you most when it comes to thinking about food? What are the opportunities? When it comes to you and your family, what comes to mind when you think about food? What are the biggest food challenges in this community? Thinking about your neighbors, friends and co-workers. What are the opportunities? What are the most important food challenges facing Canada? So, as I said, we're going to discuss four themes, increasing access to affordable food, improving health and food safety, conserving our soil, water and air, and then more high quality food. How can we grow more of it? So the first question, how do you think the federal government could help increase access to affordable and nutritious and safe food? Not all Canadians have sufficient access to affordable, nutritious and safe food. The affordability and availability of food, particularly among more vulnerable groups such as children, Canadians living in poverty, Indigenous peoples and those in remote and northern communities are issues that affect people across the country. So if you think about what you eat every day, what would help you to eat more nutritious food? Is it the availability of this food, access to it, uh, the time taken to prepare it, or do you just need more information and knowledge? And can people in this community afford safe and healthy food? Second question, what health and food safety issues concern you the most when it comes to the food you eat? Canada's food safety system is a model to the world and it continues to provide safe and nutritious food to Canadians and consumers around the world. Additional efforts to promote healthy living through nutritious and safe food choices can improve the overall health of Canadians while lowering health care costs. So, what information do you need to trust that the food you're eating is safe? And how do you think the food system in Canada could help you make healthier food choices? Our next question is, well, what concerns, if any, do you have about the environmental impact of the production of food? This includes farming, fishing aquaculture, and food processing. The way our food is processed, produced, distributed, and consumed, including the losses and waste of food, can have environmental implications such as greenhouse gas emissions, soil degradation, water quality and availability, and the loss of wildlife. While we're doing a lot to conserve our natural resources, further opportunities exist to do more. So are you aware of any local environmental or food waste initiatives in Canada that you think could be adopted more widely? Or if you know of programs from outside of Canada that seem to be working well, could they be adopted here? And in what ways do you think food production could better conserve the soil, the water and the air upon which it all depends? Our fourth question, when it comes to growing more high quality food in Canada, what do you think would help? Enabling farmers and food processors, large and small across the country, to succeed will make more high quality Canadian food available domestically and internationally. And how do you think we can best support our family farms and fisheries so that they can continue to thrive and put more high quality food on tables right across Canada? 
Your comments will be used to inform the development of a food policy for Canada. And this fall, a What We Heard report will be published, capturing what was raised in food policy consultations right across the country. There are other ways, by the way, that you can become involved in contributing to a food policy for Canada. We want to encourage Canadians to have ongoing discussions about food issues and opportunities. You can do it at the dinner table, community events, or other places where food is central. You might also want to become more involved through the many non-governmental groups that take an interest in food, whether they're food banks, municipal food policy councils, or advocacy groups. Thanks for your interest. I hope you take the time to enter your comments on our PlaySpeak page. We're going to make sure all of them are included for the government's consideration.